Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to be learning about the horrible subject that is maths. But before we go into too much detail, let us watch the intro, which I have just recently made, and I shall sit and drink tea. Helps me calm down when I'm feeling stressed. For me, math seems like a bit of a marmite subject. It's either you love it or you hate it, or you don't take it. For example, did you know that to find the maximum and minimum values of y equals 2 cos x minus 5 sin x minus 3 and the corresponding values of x, you have to let 2 cos x minus 5 sin x equal k cos x plus a. What? I mean, to be honest, do I really need to learn all of this stuff? I mean, I want to be an English teacher or a primary school teacher or something in filming or photography and for me to learn about like the exponential of a graph and like the side of a triangle how long it is and the angle of x and the corresponding values of x and the minimum and maximum values of <laughs> I've realized there seems to be a certain hype in maths about triangles I mean they've got like they've got Pythagoras they've got trigonometry they've got this weird thing where they have to do this cast thing I don't know what it is it's like cos, all, sine, tan, and you are in different places and it's 1 over root 3 and it's all horrible like that. Wait, I'll show you. There we go, right there. I mean, yes, there is certain jobs where you're going to need those kind of things like in engineering and in physics and stuff like that. However, for the rest of us who are like wanting to be in these kind of like, you know, normal jobs, which doesn't involve like maths, then I believe there should be another section, another form of maths. Maths will be divided into two groups. The first group will be for all the people who want to be engineers or physicists and things like that, who are all like, oh, we need to learn about logarithms. Oh, we need to learn about exponentials. Oh, we need to learn about wave functions. The second group, however, will be dedicated to the people who are like, like me, who want to be in jobs which are not so concentrated around strange things in maths, like, um, teaching and things like that. So the second part of the maths will be dedicated to things like telling the time, or how best to manage money, or dot to dot, or symmetry, or just adding and subtracting. Therefore I think it will be a lot better for people who want to go into things like engineering and things because it shows that they chose a harder course and that like you know we can still pass with a bit of math so people who employ us will be like oh they have math so well they have the adding and subtracting math so that's good enough i wonder if the scottish government is watching me right now that would be funny if they actually took this on board and actually like decided to change the courses that would be fucking amazing i hope you've enjoyed me taking a little bit of a rant at maths if you want to watch my little brother's video which is down here in the little blue box it's about harry potter and the mush between harry potter and lord of the rings called harry strider then you can click on the little blue box down here. Um, I will be returning in two weeks time with my next video. So subscribe, comment, like, and I will see you in a fortnight. Bye. You probably wouldn't have noticed, but through the entirety of that video, I had to sit on two cushions to keep me in shot. That's how short I am. I mean, to be honest, do I really need to learn it?